Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Man vs. B, a new Netflix original series starring Rowan Atkinson. Is this one you should be watching? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let's jump in. So when it comes to Rowan Atkinson, I know a lot of people will probably think the Mr. Bean kind of skits that he used to do, or the Bean movies, or the kind of spy comedy genre films that he did. I think for the most part, me growing up watching Mr. Bean, that is what I used to love. That's what I see. That's what I hear. Or Zazu in the, the, the Lion King. I thought he did a fantastic voice role. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. When it comes to this one, I went in with a little bit of trepidation because I was worried about how you take that kind of skit, put it in with a talking Mr. Bean, make us care about the character and then make it worthwhile watching. And I have mixed feelings about it. I think it kind of did what it set out to do, but not all the way. And so here we have a number of episodes. I think it was eight, eight episodes, about 10, 11 minutes a piece. So they are short skits. This father who has lost his family. Basically, he's he's got a divorce. He can't see his daughter all the time. He really wants to. He now has a job and things are looking up. He's house sitting this very exclusive, expensive a multi-million dollar house uh, but for some reason he gets very obsessed about things and in this series or this story this version of him it's about a bee that seems to be unable to leave the house and have it out for him the most annoying bee ever from his perspective each episode progresses with him finding himself in ways with physical physical reactions physical ways that he's trying to kill the bee or get it out of the house and it's it's just leads into uh, various circumstances would end up basically destroying the house if you've seen the trailer you know it just ends up being like massively uh, out of control and it is funny at times but it also is you holding your breath going why is he doing that why is he like that especially as he's not that mr bean character anymore he is a real father and you're willing them to get together because there's a few heart-to-heart -heart phone calls with his daughters with his daughter and you want him to get together and so you get frustrated when he acts this way about a bee. So on one hand, it's just little skits with him interacting with this bee in a terrible way. And on the other hand, there's a kind of heartfelt story there that you want them to get together and just want him to start you know, stop being ridiculous. So on the one hand, it wants you to take the story seriously. On the other hand, it doesn't. And so I think like that, it misses it misses its mark there because it's not really something that you need to take too seriously. You want him to, I don't know, get some help professionally and get together with his family. But also you want to see the skits that he puts himself through because because there's always that physical comedic acting that he's been amazing at. And you get to see a lot of things like that. There are moments I cringed a lot. There were no moments that I laughed out loud. And I remember with Mr. Bean, there were loads of moments I laughed out loud. Mostly embarrassed or cringing moments, but there were moments where I barely laughed. None of that happened yet. I was more like, uh, or, oh no, how's he going to fix that issue? So you, it's like watching something just disastrous. I'm glad it's short as it is. I don't think I could have watched any more than it. I think the score is excellent. Lorne Belt did a great job at um, heightening that tension or that craziness that's going around. And no bees were harmed in the making of this. I'm pretty sure it's a CGB. Uh, it had to be. Uh, see what I did there. And there's a little, little like, no action moments, but there's a little interaction with stuff that goes around the house and other people. I think some of the funniest moments, actually, were when he's talking to this cop that comes to give him information a number of times through the series. And their interactions together were actually really funny. What Mr. I would say what Mr. Bean is wearing. Trevor, I think the character's name is. And when he's answering the door, how he answers it, what he's wearing, the cop's facial expressions. I wanted to see more of him interacting with people rather than the bee the whole time. I think that's when he works really well. This gets tired very quickly. So though I enjoyed seeing Rowan Axon do his thing, I'm just not sure it worked all the way through. So I'm going to give this down the line at two and a half Nicholas Cages out of five. I enjoyed it as a one-time watch. It's not something that I would go back to. I'd rather go back to and watch those Mr. Bean skits. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't take it too seriously, even though it kind of wants you to in places. It's just one of those skits, like I mentioned. Seeing him physically act with his environment and things go wrong, that is where it, this is the, the strongest points. Thanks so much for watching this. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.